Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to tell about a story which is called, Pippin's Pandatastic Playground Picnic. Enjoy it! Once upon a time, in the quaint little town of Meadowvale, there lived a curious and adventurous boy named Pippin. Pippin had a head full of wild curls that bounced with every step he took, and eyes as bright as the morning sun. He was always on the lookout for new adventures to embark on and new friends to meet. One sunny Saturday morning, as Pippin was strolling through the park, he stumbled upon a sight that made his eyes widen with wonder, a magnificent playground unlike any he had ever seen before. Towering slides, twisty tunnels, and colorful swings adorned the playground, but what caught Pippin's attention the most was the gigantic panda-shaped jungle gym right in the center. Pippin couldn't contain his excitement as he dashed towards the panda jungle gym, his heart racing with anticipation. He climbed up the ladder, feeling like he was ascending to the top of the world. Once he reached the top, he gazed out at the park below, feeling like a king surveying his kingdom. But just as Pippin was about to slide down the panda's curly slide, he heard a soft whimpering sound coming from behind the jungle gym. Curious, he peeked around the corner and gasped in surprise at what he saw. There, nestled among the bushes, was a small, fluffy panda cub, its eyes brimming with tears. Pippin's heart melted at the sight of the lonely cub, and without a second thought, he scrambled down from the jungle gym and approached the little panda. Hey, there, little fella, Pippin said gently, offering the panda cub a reassuring smile. What's the matter? Are you lost? The panda cub sniffled and nodded, its chubby cheeks streaked with tears. Pippin's heart swelled with empathy as he reached out a hand to pat the cub's furry head. Don't worry, I'll help you find your way home, Pippin promised. And with that, he scooped up the panda cub in his arms and set off on a new adventure, determined to reunite his newfound friend with its family. As they journeyed through the park, Pippin and the panda cub encountered all sorts of obstacles, from towering trees to bubbling brooks, but together, they faced each challenge with courage and determination. And with every step they took, Pippin felt a deep sense of joy and excitement bubbling up inside him, knowing that he was helping a friend in need. Finally, after what felt like hours of wandering, Pippin and the panda cub stumbled upon a cozy bamboo grove tucked away in a quiet corner of the park. And there, waiting patiently among the swaying bamboo stalks, was the panda cub's family, a sight that brought tears of joy to Pippin's eyes. With a joyful cry, the little panda cub bounded towards its family, nuzzling them affectionately as they welcomed it back with open arms. Pippin watched with a smile as the panda family reunited, feeling a warm sense of satisfaction wash over him. As the sun began to set on Meadowvale, Pippin bid farewell to his new panda friends, knowing that he had made memories that would last a lifetime. And as he made his way back home, hand in hand with his furry friend, Pippin couldn't help but feel grateful for the wonderful adventures that awaited him in the days to come. Little did he know, this was just the beginning of Pippin's pandatastic playground picnic, and there were many more surprises and delights in store for him along the way. But for now, as the stars twinkled overhead and the night air filled with laughter and joy, Pippin knew that he was exactly where he was meant to be, surrounded by friends, both old and new, and basking in the warmth of love and friendship. And so, with a contented sigh, Pippin drifted off to sleep, dreaming of all the adventures that awaited him in the magical world of Meadowvale. The next morning, Pippin woke up with a spring in his step and a twinkle in his eye, eager to embark on another day of adventure. He hummed a cheerful tune as he skipped through the park, the memories of yesterday's escapades still fresh in his mind. As he approached the playground, Pippin couldn't help but feel a surge of excitement coursing through his veins. He couldn't wait to see what new surprises awaited him in the pandatastic playground. But as Pippin neared the jungle gym, his heart sank at the sight before him. The playground was empty, devoid of the laughter and chatter that had filled the air just a day before. Pippin's brow furrowed with confusion as he scanned the area, wondering where all his friends had gone. Just then, he heard a familiar voice calling out to him from behind the jungle gym. 
Pippin turned around to see his friend Benny, a mischievous grin plastered across his face. Hey, Pippin. Come quick, I've got something to show you. Benny exclaimed, beckoning Pippin over with a wave of his hand. Intrigued, Pippin hurried over to join Benny behind the jungle gym, where he found a group of their friends huddled together in excitement. They were all whispering and giggling, their eyes sparkling with mischief. What's going on? Pippin asked, his curiosity piqued. Benny grinned and motioned for Pippin to follow him as he led the way towards a hidden corner of the playground. There, nestled among the trees, was a picnic blanket spread out on the grass, laden with all sorts of delicious treats, sandwiches, fruit skewers, and cookies galore. It's a surprise picnic. Benny exclaimed, his eyes gleaming with excitement. We thought it would be fun to have a picnic right here in the playground, just like in the stories. Pippin's heart swelled with happiness as he gazed at the spread before him. He couldn't believe that his friends had gone to such lengths to surprise him with something so special. Together, they feasted on sandwiches and laughed as they shared stories of their latest adventures. They played games and raced each other around the playground, their laughter echoing through the air like music. As the afternoon sun began to dip below the horizon, casting a warm golden glow over the park, Pippin couldn't help but feel a deep sense of gratitude wash over him. He was surrounded by friends who cared for him, who accepted him for who he was, and who were always there to lift his spirits when he needed it most. And as he lay back on the grass, his belly full of delicious food and his heart full of love, Pippin knew that he was exactly where he was meant to be, surrounded by the people who made his world a brighter, happier place. As the stars began to twinkle overhead and the night air filled with the gentle chirping of crickets, Pippin closed his eyes and let out a contented sigh. He knew that no matter what adventures lay ahead, he would always have his friends by his side, ready to join him on the journey. And with that comforting thought in mind, Pippin drifted off to sleep, dreaming of all the wonderful adventures that awaited him in the days to come. The following day dawned bright and clear, and Pippin couldn't wait to see what new adventures awaited him in the magical world of Meadowvale. With a skip in his step and a smile on his face, he set off towards the playground, eager to see what surprises the day had in store. As he approached the jungle gym, Pippin's eyes widened in amazement at the sight before him. The playground was alive with activity, children laughing and playing, their voices ringing out like bells in the crisp morning air. But what caught Pippin's attention the most was the sight of a group of children gathered around the panda jungle gym, their faces alight with excitement as they climbed and slid and swung to their heart's content. Pippin's heart swelled with pride as he watched the children playing on the jungle gym, knowing that he had played a part in bringing joy to their lives. He couldn't help but feel a sense of accomplishment knowing that he had helped create something truly magical, a place where children could come together to laugh, to play, and to make memories that would last a lifetime. And as he looked around at the smiling faces and heard the sound of children's laughter filling the air, Pippin knew that he had found his purpose, to spread happiness and joy wherever he went, to make the world a brighter, happier place, one adventure at a time. With a joyful cry, Pippin joined the children on the jungle gym, his heart overflowing with happiness. Together, they climbed to the top of the panda's curly slide and whooshed down to the ground below, their laughter ringing out like music in the air. As the day wore on and the sun began to set on Meadowvale, Pippin knew that it was time to say goodbye to the playground and head home. But as he walked away, hand in hand with his friends, he couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement bubbling up inside him. For he knew that no matter where life took him, he would always carry the memories of his pandatastic playground picnic in his heart, a reminder of the joy, the laughter, and the friendships that had filled his days with happiness beyond measure. And as he looked up at the twinkling stars overhead, Pippin knew that the greatest adventure of all was just beginning, the adventure of living life to the fullest, surrounded by love, laughter, and the endless possibilities that lay ahead. With a smile on his face and a song in his heart, Pippin waved goodbye to the playground and set off into the night, ready to embrace whatever adventures awaited him with open arms. 
And so, dear friends, we bid farewell to Pippin and his pandatastic playground picnic, knowing that his story is just one of many that will continue to inspire and delight us for generations to come. For in the magical world of Meadowvale, anything is possible, especially when you have friends by your side and a heart full of dreams. I hope you enjoy listening to Pippin's Pandatastic Playground Picnic.